Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake. Uh -oh. So Moses ran away from Egypt uh -oh. to the land of Midian. Uh -oh. After many years, an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses uh -oh. and told him to go back to Egypt to free the Israelites. After much protesting, God granted Moses his brother Aaron to speak on his behalf. Ooh. So Moses went to Egypt. And on his way there, he met Aaron, who was ready to do whatever God wanted him to do. The Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians, but God had a special plan for Moses. After rallying God's people to them, Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh and said, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, has said. Let my people go. And Pharaoh made the Israelites work harder because of this. The foremen of the Israelite slaves were angry with Moses and Aaron for causing this trouble. So Moses cried out to God and asked why this was happening. But God said, you will see what I will do. I am the Lord. I will deliver you from slavery. Wow, okay. Hey. Moses told this to the people. Hey, hey. But they were so discouraged that they didn't listen to him. God told Moses to go to Pharaoh and to do exactly as he said. So Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh. Hey. God told them to take the staff and throw it down before Pharaoh. Huh? Pharaoh was not impressed. He called his wise men and sorcerers, and they did the same thing. Ooga, ooga. <laughs> but Aaron's staff swallowed up the sorcerer's staff. Uh? Yet Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them. Shoot, shoot. Just as God had said. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to the banks of the Nile River and meet Pharaoh. Moses and Aaron did just as God had said. But again, Pharaoh's magicians did the same miracle, and Pharaoh refused to let God's people go. So God sent nine more plagues to Egypt to show his power. Even with all 
the suffering, Pharaoh's heart stayed hard and he would not let the people go. On the night of the last plague, Pharaoh woke up huh? and heard a great cry in Egypt. Oh, for there was not a house in Egypt where someone was not dead. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and told him to be gone with the Israelites. So the Israelites left Egypt immediately and made their way to the Promised Land, taking with them many riches from Egypt, and they took Joseph's bones as they had promised him many years before. But after they had gone, Pharaoh changed his mind and readied his army to take back the Israelites. When the Israelites saw Pharaoh and his armies come, they were terrified. But God made a way for them. Through all of this, the Israelites saw the great power of their God, the one true God, and they put their trust in Moses, his servant. No, no, no. Oh, hey, it's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. We got a lot to talk about. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV! Hi, hey, y'all. I gotta be honest. I'm not super prepared this week. I've got a lot on my mind. I tell you what, I read some of Moses' stories this week and... <sighs> there's some crazy stuff happening in there. I mean, Moses said yes to God's plan for him. Then he went to Egypt and was like, Hey, Pharaoh, let my people go. And Pharaoh's like, huh, no way. Moses is like, what? And things totally changed after that. Things changed so much, it got me scared. That's why I'm prepping. Because I read about the nine plagues that went over Egypt, and to call me Frank, even though I'm Carl, I got scared. So I have over here some items that are gonna help me prep for any possible plagues God might send my way. This is a Yeti mask. Know what Yetis are good at? Finding beef jerky. Why? I don't know, they were made for it. So if I'm ever hungry, I put this on, I'll probably find some beef jerky. This is an air pump. You get a flat tire on your bike? No worries, I got air. This is a Batman mask. It just looks cool, so I'm keeping it. And this, is a frisbee that looks like poop. It makes me laugh. And if you throw it at people, they'll go, ah. So, frisbee poop. And that's it for now. I mean, I have more, but I think this stuff, it'll keep me out of trouble for now. Carl. Hey, DJ, what's up, man? Not much, bro. How you doing? Well, if I'm being honest, I guess I'm a little paranoid. I've been prepping. Oh, oh you prepping? What you prepping for, Carl? The possible plagues. Possible plagues? Carl, you lost me, man. What, what you talking about? Well, I read an exodus about the plagues, and it got me worried. What if something like that happened to us? So I got all my gear ready, just in case. I guess I can see where you're coming from. What about the story has you so worked up? Let's start there. Well, let's look at it. Pharaoh is refusing to let the Israelites go. Even though Moses told him that God sent him, and even though Moses turned his staff into a snake... Pharaoh still didn't listen to Moses. Exactly. And then the plague started. So the first plague was the river that turned into blood. That's gross. If I were Pharaoh, I would have let the Israelites go right there. Ugh. I'm with you, man. Because right after that came the frogs. Imagine frogs in your street, in your house, and in your bed. Mm -mm. I know! It's terrible! After that came the plague of lice, then the plague of flies. <laughs> Yuck. Then the next plague was a plague that made all the livestock sick. Poor animals. Yep. And then the next one was, I don't like this one, the plague of boils. I don't even know what that is, but it scares me. 
boils are like skin infections that cover your whole body and are extremely painful. Ouch, that had to have hurt. Wanna talk about hurt? How about the next plague? Hail, balls of ice falling from the sky. Mm -mm. Then locusts, bugs flying everywhere. And finally, the last one, darkness. A life covered by darkness. Listen, I'm still afraid of the dark. That's why I'm gonna keep a flashlight on at all times. Oh wait, Carl, that's not all. What do you mean? Oh, there's more. I mean, there's the final plague, darkness. What's more terrifying than that? Talk about troubling. Carl, that's not the last plague. That's the ninth plague. There's 10. 10? Are you kidding me? I finally started to calm down and now you drop this on me? Oh no, this is gonna be awful. What am I gonna do? Well, let's talk about the last plague. It's called the plague of the firstborn. Excuse me? But this plague, the Israelites have a chance to save their firstborns. The what? TJ, I'm a firstborn. Yeah, me too. So this was Pharaoh's last chance. But God told Moses a way that the Israelites could be spared from the last plague. The people would need to take the blood of a lamb and paint their doorpost with it. Then when the plague came across the land, it would pass over their homes and they would be saved. So the Israelites were saved? Yes. After that, Pharaoh let the Israelites go. And after that, Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt and away from their horrible lives they knew as slaves. Well, then what happened? Nothing. God had saved them from Egypt and from the 10 plagues. Well, there was that moment when Pharaoh got mad and got all his soldiers and then he chased them when he was in his chariots and horses. I knew it. More bad things happened. But God saved them from that too. God actually had them walk right through a sea to escape Pharaoh's army. Whoa. That's great to know that God helps when we're in trouble. You're absolutely right, Carl. And I have good news. That's our big idea. <gasps> so today's big idea is God helps us when we're in trouble. On the count of three, let's say it out loud. One, two, three. God, God helps, helps us when we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Oh! God sure does. Helps us when we're in trouble. Woohoo! Good job, everyone. I'm glad we got that all figured out, man. And you know what? Next week, I'm excited to talk about what happened to the Israelites after they left Egypt. Well, that's great. I can't wait to learn. So I guess I don't need this stuff now, right? Uh, well, well, you might need it for that thing that, that's something behind you, Carl. Something behind you, man. What? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> all right, kids. We'll see y'all next week. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV.